is up y'all this is your girl trinity i'm back with another freaking video yay anyways y'all i know it's been a hell of a long time i have been active on other social media so if you don't follow me on other social media like instagram facebook snapchat i think that's all i have right now then you're missing out okay because i go live on uh facebook every friday and saturdays uh, 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. I will post that information in the description box below. But I have, I am coming to you today with a pick a card tarot. Yay! I was only gonna do tarot reading, sorry. I was only gonna do um, a collective, but something was like, no, give your people more, give your tribe more. So here we are, guys. There's three piles. I don't have my stones, they're somewhere in my bags. Okay, so I don't have my stones that's cool there's piles one two and three from left to right one two and three I will insert a picture now if you chose pile number one this is your reading okay so we're gonna do um, your general reading for the month of May and then I've also pulled some love Oracle cards too for you well one for each pile so let's do this. Um, I guess we'll start with your love oracle card here. It says this could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. So take it how it resonates. You could be meeting this person um, soon or you've already met this person. Obviously it says that. I don't know why I said you could be. For some of you it might be that you could be meeting somebody soon. But the majority of you for pile number one, whoever you've already been involved with, this could be the one that you you end up with if that makes sense anyways so then we'll go with the energies that will be following you this month actually let's we'll we'll, we'll end with that we're gonna do um your general read for may right now okay so we have disruption okay we have third eye chakra and disruption was actually uh in reverse so that just tells me that there's something there's some internal um shit happening with pile number one okay look at that changes planning uh financial and material changes so you could be going through a little bit of a difficult time financially right now maybe you're having to spend money out of your savings that you did not plan on uh maybe you got maybe some of you are still waiting on your stimulus check you don't know where it's at maybe somebody lost the check um or your job lost the check something's happening with your finances here okay um some things are being revealed to you either about yourself or um, within your family okay and it could have to do with finances spirit guides and ancestors clarify disruption in reverse this is the tower card also if you did not know this this is the tower card spirit guides and ancestors clarify disruption in reverse please okay so we have nine of Pentacles and king of pentacles this has something to do with your finances i feel like maybe internally these are the energies you need to harness or, or be in right now which is the king of pentacles somebody who's very um good with their finances they're very confident in their money moves okay there is a conflict within with inside of you about finances or something um it could be with your confidence all right um, I feel like you're 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 allowing your negative thoughts. Whoever pile number one, you guys are allowing your negative thoughts to um, create to cultivate your future. There's hope in your situation, okay? Spirit wants you to know that, and these things are happening for you and not to you, okay? So stop with the woe is me is what I'm hearing. Don't shoot the messenger. But um, clarify the third eye chakra. Hope is being revealed to you. I'm hearing your situation is not that bad. You're overthinking it, okay? This is what's causing the conflict within. Make a decision, make a choice, and move forward in that, okay? Somebody could be coming back from the past, which I feel like that has a lot to do with this love here. So it's somebody you've already met that's coming in, all right? But you need to take care of what's happening internally in order for you to even receive this love that this person is coming in with, okay? Clarify third eye chakra, which I feel like we've already done, but yeah there's hope in the situation okay this is the energy you need to be walking into spirit is showing you okay it's not as bad as it is it is it is it, it, it seems there's a lesson in this that needed to be learned so that you don't repeat this okay all right clarify 
financial or material changes, but you got the Ten of Pentacles and the Star. There's hope in this situation, okay? There's there's hope in terms of, yeah, this fell out, the Nine of Swords. There's something going on with your finances. You're not satisfied financially. You could you could not know. Some of you, for some of you, you don't even know how you're going to pay your phone bill. You don't know how you're going to pay your bills next month for some of you. But I'm hearing where there's a will, there's a way. Spirit is showing you that there is hope in this situation with the, the, the star card, which is a, a hope and beauty in your situation. The Ten of Pentacles is loyalty, it's satisfaction, it's material abundance, and it's abundance in every way that you could possibly fucking think of, okay? You need to pull through and have the strength. Get out of this energy, out of that energy, okay? Your bills will be paid. Where there's a will, there's a way. You make it happen every month, don't you? Whether it's later on time is neither here nor there nor there it's paid okay but there's something in your past that is allowing for this to continue to happen there's something and it might even be in your in your far back past it might even be in your immediate past there's a habit that you or someone around you that has picked up that you have picked up that is fucking up your finances or fucking up something there is a habit that has been picked up that needs to be changed that is giving you this same result every time All right, let's see what energies are going to be with you for the month of May, okay? We have summer, bask in joy and light. There's some things that this could be a time frame, okay? Some things could be happening for you this summer. There could be some movement happening for you where you've been feeling stagnant. There's some movement happening, okay? But you also need to be grateful, be in the moment, be very present, okay? Eagle, see from a higher perspective. You are divinely guided and protected, okay? All right, you are you have the ability to see things long down the road that are going to happen, all right? And maybe this has become a burden to some of you. Some of you have psychic abilities. So maybe um this has become a burden. You need to figure out how to control those things through meditation. Um just keep grounded, okay? Keep grounded. And you need to see things from a better perspective, all right? A more positive perspective. You're not dying. You're okay. You have another chance is what I'm hearing. That's all that I have for you, pile number one. I hope that that resonated with you. If it did, subscribe if you feel led to do so. Uh, follow me on the social on the other social medias. Like I said, I will put that in the description section down below. And I will see y'all in another video. I love you. If you chose pile number two, this is your reading. And this is what your May is going to look like. All right? I know I'm late. Don't say nothing. Let's just go with it, all right? We're going to start with your love oracle, and then we'll move into your psychic oracle, and then we'll see what energies you'll be dealing with, or not dealing with, but what energies will be assisting you during the month of May, okay? So for love, we have new love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. So either you've met someone recently that has really got you going, that got you on cloud nine, or somebody is going to be coming in in the month of May, okay? I'm hearing if they are coming in, it's going to be more towards the end of May, beginning of June, okay? It could be the first couple of weeks of June, give or take, all right? So we have heart chakra, right? Some of you are building a really firm foundation, a stable foundation emotionally for yourselves, okay? love begins there's a lot of green energy here i feel like either your heart chakra needs to be worked on or this is a chakra that's being opened up because you have been working on it okay deception and envy green with envy okay somebody's jealous of the way that you've been growing and elevating and loving yourself and they don't realize that for some of you, this person will try to sabotage you. For others, unknowing, unknowingly, for others, this person is genuinely just, I don't know. For others, it's a little more deep. And for others, it's its like, how do I get to where they're getting? You know, oh, why does she have that and I don't? Like a little kid, you know what I'm saying? For some of you, it's, um, why does she have that and I don't? And I'm about to try to fuck her whole shit up, okay? You know who that is. So anyways, clarify heart chakra, spirit. Clarify heart chakra here. Clarify heart chakra from the pile number two. I feel like you're afraid to give your heart out or give your love out because you're afraid of being judged because you've been judged in the past for who you love, for what you love, for 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 your passion for for the arts or your passion for something different. You've been judged. Okay. The Queen of the Queen of Swords wants to come out here. This is somebody that's very communicative, okay? She knows how to say things. 
sorry. She knows how to say things in a way. She knows how to express her feelings. And be careful because she can be a little harsh and sharp at times. But what's what needs to be said is it's necessary. 417, I don't know if that's a something that's sticking out to you. 4, 1, and 7. But yeah, be careful when you speak your mind, but speak your mind. Speak your heart. Speak on the things that you truly desire and love, okay? Page of Swords here in reverse. I feel like you're just keeping what needs to be heard put away and you shouldn't you shouldn't have to do that maybe it needs to be worked on or you're or you're or how you're feeling you're afraid to show that action you're afraid to put in the work because you've been hurt in the past because you've been judged in the past okay and allow yourself to be free get in get in touch with your child self you know what i'm saying clarify love begins here spirit guides and ancestors queen of cups is here nurturing energy okay somebody really wants to work on things with you they want to build with you they want to build more so emotionally i feel like the material for pile number two um i'm getting scorpio air sign vibes a little bit too a lot of water pisces scorpio cancer i don't know that doesn't even matter but um there could be yeah there could be air sign also in here but this 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 new love that's coming in is gonna provide a sense of peace a sense of rest you're not gonna feel like you're doing it alone anymore um and it could be a, a love for yourself it doesn't necessarily mean that there is a an actual another party coming in this could just mean you're finally coming in alignment with yourself. For some of you, it is 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 coming in alignment for yourself. For others of you, you have to leave the situation that you're in because it's it's not good for your health, okay? And you will be leaving. You will be moving, okay? Some of you are actually moving. Uh, some of you will just be moving on from these energies you're with, okay? Something that you wanted or manifested is coming in, okay? And I do believe that this is this person. You've been manifesting love. Okay, so that's coming in for you. Like I said, at the end of May, June, you could have already met someone. The time frames are give and take, okay? Five of Pentacles is here. What this this jealous person doesn't know is that you're you're you you've struggled to get to where you're at, okay? Or you're you might even still be struggling financially, but you've struggled to get to where you're at or this person could be struggling financially. And you said, hey, I can't help you. That's the last time I can help you. I can't do this anymore. I've got a family or I've got my own things I've got to take care of. I can't help you. And now they're mad, they're jealous or whatever it is for some of you. Okay. Clarify deception and envy for pile number two spirit. Clarify deception and envy for pile number two. Clarify deception and envy for pile number two. The king of wands. Communication. This person might decide to communicate that's what I'm saying. That's the, I, I kind of felt that um, whoever that for some of you, for the ones that aren't dealing with somebody that is just pure evil and wants to sabotage them. <laughs> for the ones that are not dealing with that energy, the, the, the deception and envy energy is coming from a, a, a real friend. They're just like, how did she get that and not me? Like, they're, it's not that they're not happy for you. They're just so down and out about their own life. Okay. That they're just like why doesn't it happen for me why doesn't it happen for me why is this not happening for me is what i'm hearing so with that being said this person could come in and communicate that to you and be like you know friend um i don't know why i was feeling this way but this is how i was feeling and i'm sorry or whatever i have so much passion towards you i have so much love there's communication coming in there's going to be a conversation had about this for some of you you might know who this person is and you can sense it or you can feel it or they might have already done some things and so you're about to call them out on their shit pretty much but it's going to be a good conversation it's not going to be anything crazy the outcome of the situation is going to be good either either way it goes if you have to walk away from this connection it'll be good and if this is something that can be worked out and this person can be trusted then boom there you go you feel me okay so the energies that will be um coming in to you or following you this month of may is going to be drum dream and journey okay there's some planning that needs to be happening here or you've already done the planning and spirit is telling you 
just in case you need to see that if any of these symbols or signs resonates with you. Um, but yeah, you need to put your dreams into action now, okay? They're coming into fruition. Speak those affirmations. Say your goal to yourself every single day. Remind yourself because you're so close. You're so close to where you want to be. It's, it's unreal, okay? Okay? And then enjoy the journey. Enjoy this journey. It's up and it's down. And how boring would it be if it was just one straight line, you know? It would be easy, but it would be fucking boring, right? But anyways, the other energy that will be following you um, this month is the energy of nature is what I'm hearing, okay? You need to be in nature. You need to eat more fruits, more vegetables, more leafy greens. But white witch, be the light. Be the light in your situation. Even though this person is fucking hating on you, whoever they are. It can, for some of you, this is just um, lurkers on your social media that are hating. Okay? But be the light in the situation. Take the higher road. Ignore the negativity. Matter of fact, get rid of it. That is all I'm getting for you, pile number two. I hope that that resonated. I hope that it helped. Um, and I love you guys. I'm sending love, light, and positivity your way. I hope y'all have a beautiful and blessed day. And I will see y'all in the next video. Bye. Love you. Okay, so if you chose pile number three, this is your reading. And this could be how your month of May goes if you stay on the path that you're on. Um, or if you make the necessary changes that might come up in your reading. So, we'll see. We're going to start with the love messages. Then we'll move into your uh, psychic oracle to see what's going on and then we will finish off with the energies that will be following you assisting you during the month of May so let's go so in terms of your love life religious factors your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path okay all right so we have harmony Rejoice in celebration and moving on. So we pretty much have, I believe this represents the lover's card, the harmony. The lover's card, we have the three of cups and we have the eight of cups pretty much, okay? Sorry guys. All right. So religious factors are definitely affecting your love life in, in whatever the way. I feel like you're dealing with someone that um, has different views than you, okay? And you're trying to make that work. You're trying to, um, and this could be somebody that you're dealing with now, or this could be somebody that's coming in, but you're trying to make that work. Or maybe some of you feel like this might not even have anything. Well, it says a lot. And then some of you, give me a minute. Some of you are basing how you're dating around your beliefs, which is fine, you know, um, for you in that moment. Um, whatever works best for you is all I can say on that. Clarify harmony card here, spirit. Clarify the har harmony card, please. Clarify the harmony card. Some of you are really, yeah, you guys are working... I feel like the majority of pile number three, you guys are working together, whether that be in a romantic relationship or with your family or you're working with someone to try to integrate two different religions or two different beliefs, systems, okay? Some of you are just working on your spirituality. Some of you are working together with your partner. Some of you have actually found someone that is into your same religion or you're into your spirituality whatever you do they're on that same page and now you guys are integrating this together you guys are building a life together for some of you though there is conflict some of you feel defeated some of you feel cheated some of you feel yeah there's conflict for, for the other half of you here okay in terms of that um and there could even possibly be a third party situation in some of these situations Okay, and it could be this whoever this five of swords, whoever's experiencing that you feel cheated like somebody literally cheated on you. Your heart, look at that three of swords just pops out. Somebody cheated, somebody cheated, 
somebody said something i feel like it's something that you found out is something that spirit some a lot of you in pile three are very spiritual a lot of you have abilities okay and a lot of you knew that this situation was already going down and somehow some way you got tangible receipts to prove it and and now you're broken hearted okay you feel like you've worked so hard on this situation and it's falling apart it's time to let it go is what i'm hearing for those of you that are integrating integrating beautifully together it's it's a time to celebrate it's a time to celebrate three of pentacles okay there's a partnership happening here for you for those of you that are that are in a divine union right now what's going on with the people that are broken hearted okay queen of pentacles this is the energy that you need to be sitting in for those of you that are broken hearted you need to be that queen of pentacles still be a boss ass bitch handle your shit provide for your family um, but still be be loving and gentle and caring and nurturing to yourself, okay? Feed yourself, um, okay? Be out in nature. Get, get in tune with yourself. Clarify uh, moving on. The Eight of Cups. It's time is what I'm hearing, okay? It's, it's more than time. Sorry, I'm looking. You're moving away from the darkness. You're moving away from what once was. Okay, and you're moving into a space of opportunity and options here with the Seven of Cups. Be mindful of the option that you choose on your next journey. You're leveling up into an look at the Five of Cups. The Five of Cups. Okay, move on. Stop holding on to this situation. All right, there is something that you're choosing not to let go of in emotionally. So some of you are actually going to be moving, moving in the physical realm. But the, for the majority of you, pile number three, you guys are going to be doing a lot of inner work. And it's something inside of you that you must release in order to move on. Okay? Because when you make this decision, when you make these next few decisions to go where you need to go and take your life where it needs to be, you need to be able to do this from a sound space. Right now, you're not sound because a lot of you are going through brokenheartedness, whether it's from your past or it's something that you're currently in. You're feeling like you have to defend yourself. You're feeling like you have to defend your relationship. You defend how you have to defend what you think and what you say. Okay, you need to find balance. Pile number three. Balance. Yeah, look at that. Justice. And then two of pentacles. You need to find balance. Your, your your emotions are all over the place right now. Anyways, what energies are going to be following you for the month of May? Okay. We have High Priest, Intend and Create. Set your intentions for your day every single day. Take it one day at a time, okay? Set your intentions. Figure out what your long-term goal is and start focusing on the little things that you can do to get to that higher goal. You feel me? You're focused on the wrong shit. For those of you that are dealing with the heartbreak and the, all that stuff. For those of you that are on the right path and you guys are, you know, doing what you need to do and your relationship is, is you got the ones I said are building with their partner, okay? There is also some things internally that you still need to work on, that both of you need to work on, but you realize that. So for those of you that, that are on that path, keep doing what you're doing. You're good, okay? There's still some balancing that, that is taking place here in your life. All right, but you've moved. I'm hearing congratulations. You've moved in, into the next step. All right, and so the last and oh, y'all, I'm so sorry for my hair. The last energy that I have here that will be following you for the month of May is going to be Heart Guardian, love and let yourself be loved. Okay, love yourself. You know, and and then this though that's what you're struggling with. The people that are on the right path, you're almost like this is too good to be true. We are both spiritual. We're both whatever religion you follow we're both this and everything's going well and what don't sabotage it by trying to subconsciously do some shit that's gonna fuck it up just let it flow let this person love you and let your love flow okay for the people that are in pain when that time comes for now love on yourself but when another person comes in and you feel it in your heart that this is it you'll know you'll know not that wanting it to be you won't you won't have to want them to be the one because when you're asking is this the one you're wanting them to be the one when they're the one you'll know so let them love you is what i'm hearing all right pile number three that is all i have for you i'm sending love and light and positivity your way i hope you have a beautiful and blessed day and i will see y'all in the next video bye